Hello guys, it's Julia here, and you guys are going to be seeing an office tour, but before I start the video, I'm going to show a quick video of what my office looked like before I remodeled it. Now, I did remodel it back in August and didn't record an office tour on that. I don't even know why. Maybe I was just busy, or maybe I didn't feel like it, or maybe it just wasn't clean enough. I don't know, but I'm going to show the before, uh, and then I'm going to show the after. So you guys are going to see the before clip first, and then you guys are going to see the after clip. So anyways, let's start off the video. Alright, well I have to record this quickly so I don't get interrupted again. So basically I'm going to be redoing my office, hopefully today if I have time, because I have school soon. And I kind of can't do it right this second, because I cannot move these desks myself, they're too heavy. But... Pretty much what I'm planning on doing is this is my computer desk right here and I have my three monitors which I just added this monitor like maybe a little less than a week ago and honestly it's very useful for having three screens and being able to fit things. And then there's my keyboard which I have which I might change the colors on. Oh yeah I also got this little thing which is kind of cool that was given to me in, in like a thing I won. Um, but I have a lot of cleaning up to do in here. My plan is to move this desk. <laughs> which is right in this corner, over to this wall, and it will fit as long as I move these two computers. You can see there's my desktop right here, which I don't know where I'm gonna put that. I have to figure that out once I move the desk. But I'm probably gonna leave all this here, or maybe I'll move it and put my desktop here again. I'm not entirely sure. I still have a lot of thinking to do as I'm doing it, but this desk will fit if these two computers in this desk is moved. And it'll make a lot more room since this desk is longer and it goes out more than this desk. So this desk that's right here will go in this corner where this one is, which will fit better in this corner. And it'll have all the same stuff on it. And then this one will go in this, in this place, and it'll have all the same stuff on it. Now I may reorganize this desk a little bit, because I am doing some reorganizing in here. So... Also, this map right here I have to put on this wall, and I have to put this stuff over here because my grandma wants to be able to see the map and the TV's gonna block it, most likely. So I have to do that and move that around too. And as far as these three, three things and all this, um, I don't know if I'm just gonna leave it all here or if I'm gonna move one of them over here and where I'm gonna put these computers. So it's still a little bit of thought process that I have to put into this because I have to figure out where to move things and, where, and what would make the most room in this small place. Which is kind of why I'm moving this desk. And also, I miss sitting in this spot, but I don't want to go back to just using a TV as a monitor, as having three monitors is really nice for multitasking purposes, and I really like having three monitors. Because I can just move things across the screen and have different things on different screens, and it's very useful. So, I like the idea of having multiple screens. Even though a TV is like big, a big screen, multiple screens that I can fit things on and see fine. Since these two are 27 inch monitors and this one's just like a, I don't, I don't know, maybe 20 something inch. It's a smaller monitor. I think it's like a 20 inch or something. Maybe 23. I don't remember. It might actually be smaller than that. Um, but I think it's actually a 20 inch. But. It's a, but it's a small little monitor that'll just fit, because I can't add another 27 inch, I highly doubt that's gonna fit. I could try this one, but I don't know if that's gonna fit or not, but I'm gonna be redoing my office hopefully today if I have time, and these are my computer lights which I might change, I don't know why that's pink, but I guess I can change it, Um, I have my laptop right here, which I might just... I don't know if I'm just going to leave it here, um, or if I'm going to leave it closed, I have to figure that out. And I also have to find a way, which this is my server computer, I put the battery in it, so I'm going to have to like unplug power and ethernet, move it over to another room where the router is and plug it in temporarily so that doesn't go down. And that was the purpose of putting the battery in the system so I can move it from one place to another without it shutting down, because without a battery, if I unplug it, it's going to shut the system down, and I don't want that happening. So, I guess that's how I'm going to be able to move the server from one place to another temporarily while I do this whole project. But because I have school in a couple hours, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this all done today, and I really hope I can. So I'm going to be trying my best. 
I'll probably just leave all this in the same spot. It's pretty much just all my server-related stuff, like my server, my Raspberry Pi, my network switch. I have all my USB sticks, my old external hard drive that I need to back up before I lose all the data. Um, yeah, it's a lot of stuff, and this is just a mess. But anyways, this is my office, and I'm going to be redoing it. Sorry this is so long, just wanted to record a video you know, talking about it, so pretty much that's what I'm going to be doing, and it's going to be nice sitting back in the spot again with a bigger desk, and I feel like it'll make a lot more room in here, too, because this desk is just so long and goes out more, but this desk doesn't, and it'll this, fit, this desk will fit better in a corner, in my opinion. So, anyways, it'll also make another little area to work on computers, but anyways, I'm going to get to the job here soon. I don't know if it'll be today, but i got to stop it. Hey guys, it's Julia here, and I'm going to be showing you guys my new office, which, it's the same office, but just reorganized and redone. You guys can see I have this desk, which I did get back in, um, I think August, but I did a little remodeling. Um, I did remodel one other time before this, which I had this desk over here, but I swapped the two because now there's more walking room for the ground. And it just makes sense to have a smaller desk on this side and the bigger one against this back wall because it makes a lot more room and I think it's better. And I can have my computer up instead of having it on the ground because I'd rather keep my desktop up because I think it'll be better. So pretty much we walk in and you see my computer in front of here which I added this third monitor because my grandma got a new monitor, so I took her old one and I put it here. I think I've used it in the past, um, before when she had another one and gave it to her, but then I got it back. So I think I actually did have this monitor at one point, but pretty much I put that monitor on this side and then I have my two 27 inch monitors. I think hers is like a 23 inch. So yeah, this is a 23 inch. The other two are 27 inches and I decided to put this monitor on this side like it was before. And the reason is because I'm, I see better in my right eye. So it would make sense to have it to the right of me. So I have the three monitors. They're all 1080 resolution. So it's all the same resolution at 100% scaling because I don't like when it's higher because applications don't seem to like it too much. Um, I have my speakers here and I have them plugged into this. Now, the reason I'm using this extender is for some reason when I use the port up here, it sounds fuzzy and stuff and I just don't like it. Besides, I don't want the headphones like dangling down. Um, I don't like the feeling of that. But here I can unplug them if I want and then plug in my headphones. Or I could just leave these plugged in when I'm not using my headphones, so I guess that's nice. And these are powered by USB, so they're in the back of my computer. Um, and as you guys know, I didn't record an office tour the last time I remodeled it. I don't know why I didn't, but I had pictures of it. But, you know, at least this time, I'm, you know, I'm actually showing it because I actually prefer this over the last remodeling I did because it only makes sense to have my computer against this wall because I've always had it against this until like August I moved it and now it's um, November almost December and sorry for all that like background noise it's it's raining outside and that's a skylight up there which I did cover to make it you know not as bright in here I did that a long time ago but I have my little iPhone SE I use for music over here on this little thing back here holding it and I have it plugged in back there. I have my headphones right here, which I think has my dongle on it for my phone, but I can take that out if I want. I still have my phone headphones. I think they're in this drawer. Um, and I won this on a thing that was sent to me, so thank you for that. I think it was um, Becked Computing on Instagram. They had some sort of sweepstakes, and I won. And they sent me this along with this little pipe thing where I can put stuff in. So thanks to them, shout out to them in this video. Um, there's my same Razer keyboard, I think it's the the Razer Black Widow X Chroma, which I've had for a while now. I got it back in I think February of 2019. 
The same re-mouse I've had forever. The re-keyboard died a really, really long time ago because the backlight just stopped working on it. But, but it actually stopped working, like, after I got a new keyboard because I had another Razer keyboard that was, like, half mechanical, half not, and then I gave that one to my dad and I got this one. Which I like this one because the keys raise up and it just looks cool and you can change the colors and effects to whatever you want. Um, so, there's that. And then I have this, which I, you know, I made an art class. I think I showed this before. And it's got my USB drives in it. And it's the Windows logo and it has all, like, different versions of Windows 10. It is outdated. Um, this was RTM, NU, AUCU, and FCU. So, that was when FCU was the latest when I made this. So it was quite a while ago. Over here I have my little Osu pen tablet. I, I don't really play Osu as much, but I still keep it there in case I ever want to play it, because it, it is a fun game. It's like a music rhythm game. I have my network switch here, which that way I'm able to get Ethernet in here. I don't think I ever showed that, because the last Office Tour I don't think I had that. I might have, but I don't remember. I honestly don't think I did. I might have, though, by chance. I have to look back and see. And then my computer, which I do need to clean the side a little bit because it's kind of dirty from being on the ground for a while. Um, and you can see the lighting in it, which I can change that. I don't know why it's pink, but I can go and change that to whatever I want. It used to be white, but it changed on me. Um, and I don't know why I have this, but this is just for if I ever want to use Wi-Fi, but I use Ethernet on my computer because it's faster. Even though the, the Wi-Fi isn't, you know, slow, but I just prefer using Ethernet. I still have all the same, like, Windows things. I did move some stuff, like this, this, and this, because the, the, this and this was down here, but the monitor was kind of blocking it, so I moved it up. And this was in this corner, but I decided, now if I go over here, I decided to stack the two bins and then these other two bins on top, and then these other two computers that was over in this corner are now here, side by side, because I set some boxes on it and I have my server computer on top of it. So, that's my server computer, I have the power cord tucked behind it. The Ethernet cord, if I had a longer one, it would be easier to tuck it, but I really can't because it's a longer, or it's not as long of a cord, so in the future I can get a longer cord to be able to, you know, make it a little more organized, but that'll do for now. All the same stuff, made this in a girls camp, made this at school and art class, and then all these stuff. I didn't make that, that was the only thing on my wall that someone else made. I don't know why I still have this newspaper here, because this is, like, a really old newspaper from, like, 2014, I think. Um, so, then, I have all the same stuff. My Vista soda. No, I'm not drinking Vista. Everyone asks that. I still haven't drank Vista. It's still there. I have just some little things up here my mom gave me, like, this and this. And then I have my little, um, slinky. I think this is Windows Server on it. Um, I don't really remember. Um, and then this, I just keep, like, screws and stuff in. And just, like, little stuff in there. And, um, these are not really organized. This just has some RAM and, you know, SD cards. And my SSD box is still in here for some reason. And then this little thing with a couple iPod Nanos. This drawer needs to be organized again. This is, like, the only drawers I didn't organize yet. I don't know what this is, um, and here it's just random stuff again, like old cameras, like my old recorder thing that I actually want to put batteries in and see what's on it, um, random, like, hard drive bays from computers, and my watch charger, which I'm using this watch again, and the reason I'm using this one is because my other fossil watch, which I'll show you, I lost the charger for, and I and I don't know where it is, and I thought I'd find it, but I might just go buy a new one online so I can use it, because it is a newer watch and runs a newer version of Android Wear, but this one I kind of like because it doesn't seem as bulky as the other one for some reason. But anyways, and this drawer is just a ton of discs, as usual. And then this drawer is just a ton of cords, 
this drawer is like phone cases and you know accessories and things like that and a wallet this drawer is just like some discs some like you know Game Boys and DS DS's not DSI's cuz I have those somewhere else um and then some more discs this drawer is just a ton of random crap I don't know what to do with. Might give it away, because it's stuff I don't use. It's just pretty much a drawer of randomness, and it's the most full. This drawer is just, like, um, notebooks and, you know, random stuff. Pen like, colored pencils, note cards. It's more like a kind of school-related drawer. Plus, just some random stuff like I don't know what this random game's doing in here it, I should probably go with the DS stuff let's put that in there and then down here are my phones I have my phone collection in here which I do need to make a video on my phone collection because you guys can see there's like so many phones in here and I have my headphones in here and I might be breaking them right now as I speak so, I think I did break them, actually. Hold on. No, I didn't break them, but they just came off because um, I had them in here temporarily so that way I could do this. There's also a tablet in here that was given to me that doesn't even turn on. So, this is just my phone collection, and I'll make a video on that one day, which I've been needing to do that for a while. If I can close the drawer. I, I don't even know if I can. Alright, there we go. That drawer's closed, so that's what's over in those drawers. They're a little more organized than they were. Um, these drawers are just like, ran like nail polishes. This is just, and then this drawer is just a ton of random stuff, and then this drawer is like some more pencils, which I do have some in that thing that was given to me. Um, some better ones that I just mainly just use those. Um, a little notebook for writing things down and such, notes for videos, ideas, things like that. Um, and then here is my laptop, which my I still have my HP Envy. It used to be my main machine before I built this uh, back in May 2019. Um, and you can see I have this little thing that says like the specs and stuff, so... We got that, it's still the i7 4th gen. I upgraded it to 16 gigs of RAM. So it used to have 12 when I got in, I used it with 12 and then recently I upgraded it when I was getting memory for my server. So we got that going. And then over here I have some phone boxes and stuff. Like I have my, for my new Pixel 3 I just got, that's the box, which I am recording with the Pixel 3. So let me know how the camera quality is compared to my old S9, cause I'm sure it's better. There's my S9 box right there. There's my Nexus 5 box, which I still have to this day which I got it around when it came out, and I got it in like November 2014. And then my old external hard drive that I need to get another one to back it up because that one's sort of failing and I don't want to lose my stuff. And then I have my Dell Latitude here, which is the, I think the E5470. Um, I'll open it up. Yeah, E5470. So that this is the laptop I use for school and stuff and I bring it and it's got a really good battery so I really like this computer because it can last me about six hours on battery at, before I have to plug it in which will last me almost a whole day just in the last class I have to plug the charger in but that's not bad for being at school from like you know 12.45 to 9.15 um, on a school day well it's only once, well, only once a week I have to stay that long but that won't be forever because next semester will probably be a different schedule, but this computer will last me until, like, like I'd say around, probably around, like, 7-something or 8-something p.m. I have to plug it in the charger because it starts getting down to, like, 15%. But that's still pretty good battery life, and that's why I got this computer. So I had a computer to use because the thing about my Envy is I've gotten like multiple batteries for it, but it would still just not last long at all, only a couple hours, and it's just, it's not a lot, and like, at max, I probably got two hours out of this, two or three hours, but 
in my opinion, it's not very reliable because sometimes it would just shut off and stuff, and it's just... It never had a good battery, but these Dell laptops have really good batteries, and when I got this used on eBay for about $200, um, it had an excellent battery, because it said in the BIOS the state was excellent, and it lasts a while, so I'm very happy with that. And then up here I have a cleaner just for screens, which, and then over here I have some, like, cloths, like a bigger cloth, and then a smaller one. I have the TV remote, I have the battery for my NV, even though it lasts only a couple hours, I still put it there in case I want to take the laptop like to my room or something, but usually I just take this computer or I use my Surface Pro 6 next door, which I have in my room at the moment. And here, it's just supposed to have like some chargers and cords and stuff, and I think I still have that Windows XP in here. Yes, I do. And then some random papers and art. And here I have some hard drives. Um, I don't know what's on all these hard drives, but just... I think this came out of this laptop because I replaced it with an SSD, but I think that was that. And then some external hard drives in there. And then in this one, it's just more cords, my capture card, and some other, you know, random stuff I should probably go through. Yeah, and this is actually for adapters to charge any laptop. It's like a universal kit. And then I have a charger, which I don't know if it's in here. It might not be. It might be somewhere else that will that I use for the adapters and with them. And then over here, I have this drawer, which just has, like, some Apple Lightning headphones for my other phone if I want to use that. Um, it's got, I have an iFixit kit for taking apart laptops and such because I had crappy screwdrivers and I needed better tools, and I want to start doing more with hardware, so I got that, which will help me. A case for some more headphones I got, some mints, and just, like, little Q-tips and cleaners and things like that, and some gum. Just random stuff. And here I have my old e-machine computer that was given to me, and a textbook for one of my classes. Which, I just put that in there, so all that in there, just because there's room. And here I just have, I think these are the headphones that came with my phone. Some, some more books for my classes. Um, and here, which I should probably have more light, turn that on. Um, but I have another computer in here, some more like random lights and random stuff, and then just a little basket full of like snacks or candy or whatnot in case I want any. And then in this drawer I have some tablets. I have my Surface 3 that I got, which I don't know if I ever showed in a video, but I did get that, and it has LTE data. Except the issue with it is it likes to drop signal a lot and have bad signal, so I don't use it as much. Um, my Chewy tablet in this case. And then I have an Acer case, but this has a, like, a Dell tablet. My Dell Venue 8 Pro, I think. I think that's what it was. Um, and then a, like, a battery charger thing for your phone or whatever. And then I have my, my DSIs in here. Which, I, I might move them to that other drawer. Let me know if I should, or if I should just leave them in here. Um, my camera, along with the camera charger. Which, I might start using this camera more often, because I, I like this camera. So, I just, I've been using my phone to record a lot recently, instead of using that camera. Which is the reason why most of my videos are now on my phone. Alright, I had to just shut that more tightly. Now, I did have to tape this because when I would open, like, this drawer or this cabinet, it would sometimes make this flop out like that, and I was trying to, like, I don't know if you could see, but I was trying to tape it in place. I mean, it kind of works, but at times it will come out and fall, and obviously if you pull on it, it will fall down. So I kind of just, like, taped it down and it definitely helps it doesn't completely solve it but it's just always been like that because i think this is meant for like a keyboard but i don't like those little keyboard things i would prefer just to keep it up here since it's a computer desk 
so I don't like to use it for putting my keyboard there. I've just never really been a fan of those. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, there's a picture here of um, my mom's cat, which likes water, as you can see. Which the cat would just stand at the sink and go like this and paw at it and drink it and it was interesting. So it's interesting to see cats that like water. But also with my laptop, which maybe I can turn on the light up keyboard, which I think this has a this has a light up keyboard. Which I don't really use this keyboard, but if I want to make it backlit, I can. I mean, this is a perfect laptop for when I go on long vacations, because I just leave it in one spot, and I leave it plugged in, and it'll be fine. I mean, the screen isn't the best on this, and it is a 1366 by 768 display, but then again, so is my Dell laptop, which, my Dell laptop is a 14-inch display, but this is a 15-inch, so... This is actually bigger than my Dell, but the only issue with my HP Envy is because it's touchscreen, which I do like the touchscreen, but it's very glossy, and it doesn't get as bright, but if it's in a dark environment like here, it's actually easy to see. So honestly, it just depends where you are, but for being on vacations, I just put it in like one spot, and I leave it there, and then I usually just hook up a mouse. Or I can use this mouse if I want, which is, this is the Bluetooth mouse, and then this is just my... That Dell keyboard I got with that, with this Dell right here. Um, Dell Dimension B110. Um, and I also got this monitor with it too in a Dell mouse, but the Dell mouse is put away at the moment. And also, all the stuff that's mainly in here is just stuff because it's a sewing machine and it's just sewing stuff, except I think this is like a case for headphones if I want to use it. I don't know why there's money in here. I don't know where that came from. Um, and then in here, just more like, I just have some headphones in a, in a little container that I don't think has anything in it. And then other stuff for the sewing, machi sewing machine that's underneath this that hasn't been used in years. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but I also, I made this a while ago at a friend's house. I painted it, which it doesn't look the best. The Windows logo definitely isn't aligned, but I don't think I had a ruler, so that's probably why. It was more of a freehand, and it didn't turn out as well as I wanted it to, and there wasn't as many color options, but it's something. And then I have the Windows Pinata that I have here. Now, there used to be a map on this wall, but that was moved to a completely different room that had nothing on the wall because I feel like it fits there better. It's easier to see, there's nothing in the way, it's a bigger space. So that was moved to another room. Um, and I did get these lights recently, which they are the colors of the Windows logo, like red, blue, green, and yellow lights. There's several different like color options you can do because if I go under this desk, there's that, but there's like a button you can push on it. And it does different effects, but I don't really like the flashy effects as much because in my opinion, it's just, like, too much. This one just, you know, lightly goes between all the colors. Which I, I've had this one. I don't mind this one as much. This one's honestly fine. This one in the default. The other ones I feel like are too flashy. But these ones are more, like, not. And also, this setting, the lights don't get as bright. Like, they're not at full brightness. That I don't like. And then, then there's the default one which is what I like to use. I either use the default or the one that goes between the two colors, like yellow and red and then green and blue. Looks like it's actually different because it's going on and off. It's like breathing. That's the one I use, there. Now we're back to where all the lights are just on. And I like it because, you know, it's it's not as orange oranges. It's not as orange-ish, if I can say that word, meaning that the colors look more, like, better. I think it's because they're LED lights, because I the other lights I had in here were, like, different colors, but, like, it had an orange look to it, like, around the area, and, like, even, like, your face would look kind of orange. But these lights don't do that, which I like, and I also had some, like, just blue lights around the other half because it was half multicolor and half blue. Like a dark blue, kind of like that blue. Both 
broke. The blue ones broke first, which I had the blue ones shorter, like shorter amount of time. The other ones I had for like a couple of years until they broke. They just, half of them stopped working, so I took them down to try to fix them, but then when I plugged them back in, none of them worked. And I tried fixing it, and I just couldn't fix it. I think there too many lights were just broken on it. But, anyways, that's my new office, and I know I haven't had an office tour in a while. I don't know if I will, because I am honestly perfectly happy with the office I have now. Um, I used to have a wireless mouse and keyboard with this, like, with a dongle. But the dongle actually broke, because... I left it plugged in the side of this laptop, and the laptop fell on this side, and it broke the USB port, and it also broke the dongle in the process, so ripped that USB port on this laptop, but I feel like because it landed on that side, it saved the screen from getting broken, which is a plus, meaning that just the port itself broke. Yeah, the laptop shut off and wouldn't turn on, and I thought I broke it, but... Plugging it in, it came back on, so that's a good thing. But if I show the dongle, which I believe is in this little thing, uh, it's very broken. As you guys can see, it's very, very broken. This dongle got extremely broken because it fell on this side when it was in the laptop. So, basically... That's what happened with with the, with that. So I have to get a new set. Otherwise, I would have had that wireless mouse and keyboard right here instead of this Bluetooth mouse and this Dell keyboard. If that didn't happen, but I'm planning on ordering a new one because with Logitech, I heard you can order a new dongle and then get a piece of software to like pair it back with the mouse and keyboard to the new dongle, and I think it'll work because they have a special programming software to do that which is a good thing because that means you don't have to you know waste the mouse and keyboard and throw it away just because the dongle got lost or broken so I guess that's a plus that I can order another one and then just pair it again with the software which is what I'm going to end up doing but anyways guys thanks for watching that'll be it for this office tour I think this is one of the best setups I've ever had because I'm able to have three screens and then I'm, I have my computer here, which, I don't know, I, I have it moved a little bit, like, out. And I don't have it against the wall because I'm trying to have the airflow, you know, be better. And I feel like it being up here is better because it doesn't get, it won't get as hot. Um, and it and also won't get as much dust. The only thing I could work on is the cable management. Oh yeah, I do have my Raspberry Pi here that I have sitting there, which um, is is a um, thing that basically will block, um, it has a piece of software on it called Piehole, which will block ads on the network, but I have my dad and grandma using that. Um, I used to be on it, but I took it off because it was, sometimes it can do false positives, but my dad and grandma likes using, using that because it does block a lot of the ads and they don't use ad blockers. So I guess, you know, that's nice for them, so that way it filters that stuff out. But the only issue is occasionally there's false positives or it messes up. I may go back on it at some point, but I feel like it needs a little more work since it is like a community thing. But yeah, that Raspberry Pi is a first generation and it was given to me by one of my IT teachers this year. And you can see there's more you know, stuff over here. It's kind of blocked, but oh well. It, I might end up moving it, I don't know. But anyways... Thanks for watching. This video is almost a half hour, so I'm going to stop it now. But I really like this new desk. It fits perfect against this wall. It's a lot more room instead of it being here. Because when it was here, and then the little desk was here, it just it didn't seem as productive. You know, there was just too much stuff, like, everywhere. My computer was on the floor over here. And it just, there wasn't, there wasn't a lot of walking room. And it makes sense for a little desk to go against this wall instead of this big back wall, which is where a big desk should go, which is why I put it back here. And I got this bigger desk to fit my newer monitors because these are 27 inches and then I fit this other 23 inch and now I have a three monitor display and I like having more monitors than a TV is my monitor because I can multitask better by moving the mouse across all the screens and then I'm able to do whatever. So I think I like that. And then I still have the TV for if I want to like watch videos or something. 
or listen to music and have it playing on this, I can do that. Oh yeah, and these are the specs of my desktop, which I'm sure a lot of you guys know, the i7 9700K, 32 gigs of RAM, the Radeon RX 580 graphics card, and then there's the, the motherboard, a Z90 Aorus Pro Wi-Fi. So, it's funny how the surface tax says default string because it's not a manufacturer computer. It was a custom built, so it's not going to have one. I just removed it on this one because I didn't want it showing in the video, so I just removed it for reasons. But, yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this since I, since I haven't had one in quite a while. I don't know when I will because I'm really happy with this setup. Also, I have these lights here, but because I have my server and network switch plugged in, I might have to get an extension cord or move them. I don't know if I'm going to keep them there or not. I might end up moving them or doing something else with them. Let me know what you think. Anyways, thanks for watching and bye.